Now is the time to really be launching this conversation. We've really got to connect with what has become a very emotional issue. It's going to take everybody who's engaged in modern agriculture. And we have to tell the story more so than we ever have. Trying to feed 9 billion people over the next 50 years is a tremendous challenge, not just for growers here in the United States, but for policymakers and government officials and anybody who cares about other human beings. Our planet's population is expected to increase from 6 billion today to 9 billion over the next few short decades. And the demand for food is projected to be two and a half times that of current levels. Food for All is, is, is really a beginning. Um, we, we, we've been dialoguing around agricultural sustainability now for, for many months. It hasn't been years, just many months. And trying to at, at least uh, establish a, um, um, uh, a rapport with, with people to help them better understand the, the challenges we're going to have in, in feeding 9 billion people in the year 2050. And with the help and support of our members, we are working to tell our story the story of modern agriculture. Modern agriculture to me is, is the way that we're going to feed people in 2050. When I think about the phrase modern agriculture, what I think it means is how are we going to answer the food demands for the next 50 years. So that means genetically modified varieties, higher yields, disease resistant intergrade pest management, it's just scientific technologies. And modern agriculture can improve our yields, providing our country and our planet with an abundant, affordable and safe supply of food, clothing and fuel for decades to come. Modern agriculture, the, the origin of the term came about from the standpoint that we were sitting around a table really trying to, to define what it is that we're missing in terms of our communications. Why aren't people understanding what it is that a grower is doing today versus what they did back in the first Green Revolution or back in the 30s and 40s? And the fact that people have lost a perspective of where their food comes from in any case. This disconnect is common among consumers who tend to perceive food as something originating in their local supermarket rather than in the country's fields and farms. The public has a very simplistic view of agriculture and thinks the fixes and solutions are very easy for feeding the world. We should go back to organic, we should go back to small farms, we should do things like grandma and grandpa did, and that's not true. The anti-technology crowd that's out there, uh, that, that you know, some people just pick up and say, well, yeah, they're right, without stopping to think. There is no possible way that the world can be fed, the nine billion that we'll have in uh, 2050. Uh, people on this earth can be fed without the utilization of technology. Cannot be done. This is really a way for us to get out there and say, modern agriculture is how you get fed. It's how we provide your clothes that you wear. It's how you provide fuel and, and fiber. With the help of our members, CropLife America is working to better inform the media, the public, and policymakers of the planet's need for modern agriculture. We all know agriculture is complex. But I think we are complex in a, a time when people seek simplicity. So we've really got to think through our messaging and be relevant. We are initiating discussions among food, farm, and agribusiness associations, as well as policymakers. And we have taken a huge step by instituting the annual National Policy Conference. It's great that uh, Crop Life America is bringing people from all across the country to uh, talk about the issues that are going to affect people all across America, but they're going to affect them from pencil pushers here in Washington, D.C. Crop Life America is relating to the public the stories that explain and advocate for modern agriculture. Today's production agriculture is more conservation oriented, more environmentally oriented, and generating a better balance for the American public than agriculture ever has in the history of this country. Uh, they hear a lot about risks of technologies. They don't hear a lot about uh, either benefits or what it takes to bring food to them. And so uh, finding a way to communicate with them uh, about modern agriculture, I think, is, is one of the critical needs. With the support of our members, Crop Life America is explaining to the public that modern agriculture is the key to feeding 9 billion people. Modern agriculture uh, has lots and lots of facets. There's no one size fits all 
in every state, in every county, uh, for every family. But it's forward-looking, uh, it's modern, and it's committed to providing an abundant, safe, and affordable supply of food for all. Modern agriculture, food for all.